New details just coming in tonight after that mass shooting at a crowded celebration in Kansas City. We now know 22 people were shot at the end of a parade and rally to welcome home the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. KOCO's Evan Onstott here in studio now. Evan, we know Oklahomans were in that crowd. Right, and no confirmation yet on the identity of any of the victims. At least one person has died. And there is concern that that number could grow with eight of the victims wounds being described as life threatening tonight. We're told nine of the gunshot victims are being treated at a local children's hospital, which means that they are no older than 17 years old. And we know that there's a lot of Chiefs fans here in Oklahoma. We spoke to a man from Miami who was at today's celebration with his wife, his friend, as well as his 13 year old daughter. His name's Nathan Soldner, and he told us that he thought he heard the pop of a champagne bottle and then everything he said turned to chaos. He said as his family was rushing to safety, they saw one of the shooting victims on the ground. They just had him covered up the best they could, but they weren't really doing much, not that much they seemed to be could do for him. And there was just kind of blood everywhere. And it, it was definitely a shock to see. That's awful. This shooting occurred just after the rally ended outside Union Station in Kansas City. An estimated one million people gathering together to celebrate the Super Bowl champs. We're told many of the players, the coaches and their families were still in that area when those shots were fired. Now we're told no one linked to the Chiefs was hurt, but again, 22 gunshot victims, at least one person has died, and police say that they now have three people in custody. But what exactly happened today and why is still unknown at this time.